No more stash, no more scruff. Time to get to business. Hey guys, Paul Ronto here from Run Repeat, and today we're gonna to do another head-to-head -head review of the Brooks Caldera 5 and the Brooks Divide 2. These are two out of four of the Brooks 2021 trail lineup. These shoes aren't out yet. Let's dive right in. The Divide 2 is an entry-level trail shoe. It's kind of a commuter shoe designed to run on the roads and on the trail. The Caldera 5 is a max cushion bruiser with stack heights reminiscent of a Hoka. First, let's talk about the upper. The Divide 2 has an air mesh upper that's pretty breathable, a little bit more breathable than the engineered mesh upper on the Caldera 5. They've also both got heel loops, which I really like. However, the heel loop on the Divide 2, extra big, super easy to get your finger through. You can even fit your thumb through if you dig that kind of thing. They've both got these welded overlays around the toe to block moisture down here out, as well as some grit, which I think is a great feature. They also add a little bit of durability. And the Caldera 5 has attachments for a gator here on the tongue, and then also Back here on the heel, it's got a little bit of Velcro. I'm gonna give the win on the upper to the Divide 2 though. It's a little more flexible, a little more breathable, and it feels a little bit better on foot. Okay, the tongues. The tongue on these shoes are very similar again. The tongue on the Caldera 5 is a little more dense, and it's also got this sewn hem edge. The tongue on the Divide 2 is a little bit softer, a little bit more breathable. Uh, I'm gonna give the nod to the tongue on the Divide 2, just because I don't think this hem is needed. It doesn't really get in the way, but I think it adds a little bit of weight. Also, both these tongues have nice stretchy gussets in them, which I really like. They hold your foot down well across the top. I think that's a nice feature that Brooks added to both their trail shoes here. Lacing systems. Both of these lacing systems are very similar on these shoes. The laces on the Caldera 5 are a little bit stiffer, which make it a little more difficult to get a super tight knot. One thing that I have a gripe on is on the Caldera 5, uh, I like to use the very last lacing hole on shoes to deal with some heel slip issues. And on the Caldera, the laces are too short to use the last blue loop and then go over the top to the last eyelet. And so you have to abandon that last blue loop. Again, it doesn't really affect how the lacing works, but it kind of looks a little funny not using that last eyelet. Small win, but the Divide 2, I think, gets it on the lacing system. Midsoles. Both these shoes use the same midsole materials, but they have very different rides. So let's talk about the Divide 2 first. It's got a little less stack height than the Caldera. There's a little more drop. This is a pretty firm midsole. It doesn't like to flex a ton, and there's a rock plate in it, which is great on the trails, but I wish this midsole would have been a little more lively, had a little more pep to it. On the other hand, the midsole on the Caldera 5, lots of stack height, as you can see. It actually feels a little bit softer than the Divide 2. There's a little more spring in it. It feels a little more peppy. Uh, however, it is a really tall shoe, so it takes a little bit of time to get used to that if you're not used to running in a high stack height shoe. Overall, I'm gonna give the nod to the Caldera 5 on midsole. It's got a sweeter, a little more plush ride. It's a little more comfortable underfoot. Okay, let's talk about outsole. So both of these have the trail track rubber on them, which is an awesome compound. It's sticky, it's grippy. However, neither of these shoes have an extremely aggressive outsole. They're kind of meant for commuter runs, gravel road runs, light technical runs. I don't think either of these outsoles are really designed well for super technical outings. First off, the Divide. The Divide has limited lugs. They're fairly small. Again, this shoe is more designed like a road shoe designed for those runners who want to go from road to trail. I was wishing for a little bit more grip on the Divide 2. Next, the Caldera. Although there's a little bit more grip on the Caldera, the lugs are spaced far and few between, and it's not really designed for steep mountain running or mud or those fast downhills, but it does have a little bit more grip than the Divide 2. They do a great job. They're consistent on the road and the trail, and I'm gonna give the slight nod, although it's very slight, to the Divide, just because if you're looking for a shoe that can do road and trail, this outsole is a little bit more smooth. It has a nice transition on the cement where the Caldera still is a little chunky for road running and not great on that technical stuff. So it kind of falls in between. Fit, honestly, both these shoes fit fairly well. I had a tiny bit of heel slip issues uh, when I first started running in them, but with my modified lacing structure using that last eyelet, I was able to get rid of that easily. They've got the gusseted tongue in both, which I really like. They have a fairly wide forefoot, even for shoes that weren't built on really wide toe box platforms. The Divide 2 does have a slightly wider toe box though, if you have width issues. 
Comfort wise, I think the wind's gonna go the Caldera 5. It's really plush and soft underfoot. There's a little bit of springiness and bounce. One complaint though is, I think it might get hot in the summer. I was running in it in 40 and 50 degree temps and it was slightly warm. So I'm thinking at 80, 90 degree temps, this shoe could run a little bit warm. It does have a nice padded ankle collar, which I like overall comfort wise, Caldera 5 wins. As for the divide, it's honestly comfortable but it's just a little bit firm when you compare these side by side. You know, I've actually been wearing this a lot as my everyday just around town sneaker, which I love it for, but out on the trails, I was wishing for a little bit more grip and I was wishing for a little bit more comfort out of it as well. Weight, now neither of these are super lightweight shoes. Brooks doesn't really subscribe to the lightweight trail ethos. 10.6 ounces for the Divide, 10.86 ounces for the Caldera 5. So again, not featherweights, and the Caldera does feel a little heavy on foot, but they're not super heavy either. I mean, they're not 12 ounces like some trail shoes out there. So uh, I don't wanna ding them too bad, but I wish these would've came in around nine and a half ounces. Price-wise, 140 for the Caldera, 100 bucks for the Divide 2. There's not a lot of trail shoes coming in at 100 bucks, so I think that's pretty good value. I'm glad that Brooks priced this in a range where everyone can try this shoe out. Durability, I think both of these are gonna go the distance. They've got good outsoles, they've got good construction, they've got firm midsoles, they've got a welded overlay to keep dust and debris out. I think these will have no problem lasting four or 500 miles. Drop and stack, the Divide has an eight millimeter drop, 32 millimeter stack in the heel. The Caldera 5 has a four millimeter drop and a 39 millimeter stack in the heel. So super high stack height, but I like the flatter run and the feel on the Caldera 5. So. I'm gonna give that the slight win in this category. Overall conclusion, I think both of these shoes are fairly interesting. The Caldera 5 obviously has a much plusher ride. It's got a lot more foam underfoot, but at times it feels heavy and sluggish. The Divide 2, it's lower to the ground, lower stack height. It's a little more stable of a platform, but I really wish it would have had a more aggressive outsole. Neither are super fast or designed to be speed demons but the Caldera is perfect for those long outings where you really need the comfort. The Divide is really a great shoe for those runners that wanna run from home on the road to the trail and back. So both have their purposes. So you could hit trail runs all week from your house in the Divide, and then on the weekends go out for your really long trail bruisers, your adventure runs in the Caldera 5. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Make sure you head over to runrepeat.com, check out the Divide 2 and the Caldera 5. There's tons of stats and facts over there that I didn't cover in this video. I really appreciate it. Please leave comments below if you have any thoughts on either of these shoes or if there's something you wanna see in the future. Now get out there, go do B, run, repeat.